The modern suit top tip here, how do we keep our 3D printed dentures looking amazing years down the road? Here we have a denture over 30 months down the road and it is a 3D printed denture with a candy coat and a high shine looking amazing. Let's take a look at this technique because it's ultra critical. Now the candy coating technique, we're not gonna go over. We have a lot of videos on this, but we're gonna talk about the polishing after you candy coat and properly cure. Number one is you could never polish a uh, uncured denture. They just wind up looking really bad. You have to properly cure them, preferentially in glycerin and or nitrogen. So here I have the mod polishing system, step one, which is a medium grit pumice here uh, with some special emulsifiers in it. You could use just regular pumice if, um, if you didn't have the mod polish. By the way, the mod polish is going to be available in 2024 if you're interested, I'm excited about that. Here I'm using a Hatho goat hair bristle brush with the step one of the mod polish, which is a, a medium grit, and it looks dull after this step and it's smooth. Step number two is a ultra high shine step with a fine grit diamond paste. Here's um, the diamond paste in the mod polishing system. But if you did not have this, you could use Hatho, which makes amazing diamond paste. So does Ivoclar. Um, I recommend those two companies for their diamond paste. And I'm using a custom lathe chamois here that was created as part of the mod polishing system. If you did not have access to this, you could get a just a cotton buff for this step number two. Look at it, it's looking wet and shiny. This step is the critical step, and this was designed to be used after a candy coat, okay? So not on a um, non-candy coated denture. And look at this, it is going to be immaculate. Step number three is nothing on the denture. I mean, absolutely nothing on the denture, and it is just a buff. Here I'm using the custom lathe from the Mod Institute, but you could also use a ultra, um, fine thread count cotton buff with nothing on it. Now let's take a look. Okay, this is how it should look when you are done polishing. It should look wet, shiny. Um, this is a ultra um, glossy surface that is plaque resistant, stain resistant, and ultra hard. It is a surface that has been polished after a proper cure um, with oxygen scavenging systems such as nitrogen or glycerin. And look at it, it looks incredible, guys. And look at the candy coating. All the custom tints that I put on the tissue are still there, even after pumicing and diamond polishing. And this is what I need to drive home to you. It holds up over time. And this is the same thing we do for our veneers, except we don't put them on the lathe because they tend to go flying. I look forward to you guys using the Mod Polish system in 2024. But in the meantime, don't forget, uh, Hatho makes some incredible polishing pastes.